Today we'll be exploring an abandoned 1990s mansion in pristine condition with the power still on. Doesn't look abandoned, right? Well, it is. Whoever lived here previously sold off the home to a developer to completely demolish, as it always goes in my videos. The second the home was sold, its fate was already sealed, and it will never be lived in again. What was that? I see a light. You know what? I think it just says ready, not armed. I don't know. Wow, that's that's so cool that we got go. <laughs> oh, Shoot. Um, I might go back to the car. Why? I'm sketched. Let's just try it. Come on, All right. I'll do it with you if you want. Yeah, I'll just yeah, like I'll super quick. All right. Well, he says it's okay, so yeah, I guess we'll go in. Hey, what's going on, guys? So today we'll be exploring this abandoned mansion that's been frozen in time since the 90s it was built around the 90s judging by a lot of the features here and it's already set for demolition they just haven't shut the power off yet but there's been flies and cobwebs everywhere at first glance and whoa look at that view going downstairs that's going to be exciting later on in the video but what a view, beautiful view right off the bat We're gonna check out the upstairs first. This whole mansion is huge. Here we got one of the main rooms. This might be a living room or a master bedroom. Take a look at that uh, trim. This mansion is empty. There's a couple items left behind we'll check out later. But the cool thing is uh, all the power works and everything. It's really completely frozen in time. Super eerie being in here. There are, uh, mansions all around Toronto are like this, just sitting empty, either awaiting demolition or something similar. I mean, how could they tear this down? Such a nice house. This bathroom is massive, by the way. Completely massive. This was definitely the master bedroom uh, that we just checked out then because there's a big bathroom here. Complete with all these expensive mirrors. People pay a lot for mirrors. Very cool. Look at the toilets. I don't think the, the lights work on in that, in that room. But check this out, this is the jacuzzi. Absolutely awesome. And right there we got a skylight by the uh, chimney. Cool how they, a lot of these uh, fancy bathrooms have skylights there. As we make our way more downstairs, or upstairs, sorry. We have two rooms that kind of go two ways. This view is amazing though. It reminds me of a mansion I explored nearby where, where I used to live. This one's empty. Over here we got a uh, vacuum cleaner. Hasn't been cleaned in a while though because there's dirt all over the floor. This, is, this must be one of the other uh, guest bedrooms. Smaller bedrooms. And um, they're all really nice. Look at that, lights turn on. I don't even need a flashlight. And here's the bath, probably for a younger kid. Smaller, but really fancy bathtub still. Yeah, there's like stains on the floor and stuff. Not entirely sure what happened here. But uh, my guess is demolition as we've seen many times over here already. Here's the other bathroom. Pretty cool design. Another jacuzzi. Every one of these baths was super fancy it seems.
think that's everything for the upstairs. Upstairs? Yeah, I already filmed everything. Dude, it's nice, man. There's a really, really nice bathroom. Really? Yeah. I can't wait to check it out. Yeah, dude. I'm excited to see what's down where you were at. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, let's continue with the basement. Wait, Silent Hills Explorations just said the, the fireplace works still. Pretty cool. Flip that switch. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. So I think that's gas. So the gas is still on. Jeez. It's sure, provide heating from here as well. I can already feel it. Really? We can heat up the bathroom a little bit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's so odd. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we turn it off. I don't want an explosion, but super cool either way, though. Yeah. Still a little mini flame there. Well, everybody, here's a front view of the mansion as soon as you walk in. Absolutely stunning. How's it going? Huh? You liking the downstairs? Sorry? You liking the downstairs? Oh, yeah, the movie theater and everything. Oh, amazing. movie theater, bet. That sounds awesome. So we got a... Uh, Here's their bathroom here. So right as you walk in the door, I see this a lot. Right by the door is a big bathroom, or a small bathroom, I should say. Well, I'm excited for that movie theater, but um, we're gonna take a look at the downstairs first, or the, the main floor, sorry. See what's been left behind and all the cool features of this house. This is really cool. Got a very clean kitchen. Some sandals and a, a winch, towing hitch, sorry. Right there you can see what they use to, for, for beverages. Little uh, mini fridge. And wow, this hasn't been gutted yet, uh, surprisingly. Quite the, quite the beautiful kitchen. Check this out. Very cool little stove. And up above is a fan. And check this out, guys. This was their dining room. This is where they had lunch, dinner, and breakfast right here. Awesome chandelier right above everything, too, actually. Just an awesome, awesome view regardless. Right here we have some magazines for some odd reason. In here you can see kind of an older style, what do you call it? Uh, I would say a speaker system, right? Or something for, yeah, that's a speaker. And something for the door. And actually, what is this? The Quran. So, you can find here. So the family that lived here was uh, most likely Middle Eastern here. Here's our proof. It's another uh, sort of empty room. We got this cool little glass table, 100% made of glass. A couple of random items here. One of the curtains fell, it seems. Another kind of empty room. Some uh, random debris here. Beautiful kitchen. Yeah. Like this is stunning, dude. It all in. <laughs> it's a lot. 
Have you been in the basement yet? No, I'm, I'm looking at the first floor right now. It's a beauty, you'll be surprised. Awesome. Oh, we got this really cool fireplace here. Big open room, probably another living room. Well, this probably is the living room. The other one was a uh, bedroom. Anyways, there's a couple rooms here I didn't check out, I don't think. Got a fridge here still. Nothing in there. Fancy fridge. There's a stove or oven. And a couple other rooms. Here's one of their bathrooms. Pretty cool. All right, so now let's head down to the downstairs here. I'm excited on what we'll see. Well, there's quite a few things here. Check out this cool light. Pretty unique. I don't see that very often. A couple of remnants from the previous owners. What is this? Uh, don't know. Got some more stuff here. All random, I have no idea. Oh, and check this out. So this is their uh, their wine cellar and uh, storage room. Very cool. Here's kind of a look of uh, what it looks like in the basement. Pretty awesome. This architecture and design is really cool. Oh, that's sick. They had a fishbowl here. Look, they took out all the rocks, the coral. I thought that was like part of the basement. Dang. So they had this for a while and they got bought out by somebody. I don't see any fish in there, but who knows? It's pretty dirty now. That's awesome. Here we got the bar. Oh, this is a cool basement. This is the bar. All the chairs are still set up, like it's for sale. Very cool fireplace. Very cool bar. And we got a uh, Corona fridge. That's pretty cool. They yeah, had to have gotten that from somewhere and put it in this house. Oh, and check out the tiling on this. Totally cool. And uh, this glass here, you can see it's three layers. They broke one layer and uh, kept the other two. And there's probably a mirror behind all this. Interesting design. But what a cool house. Yeah, we got some stuff in here too. Uh, random stuff again. Oh, and there's a plant here. It's got to be fake. Who knows? Now we're getting, we're below the uh, the dining room here. There's a couple things, a couple balls, and uh, some gym equipment. Okay. Cool. Not much, not much left from this gym equipment, but let's see. Oh guys, I think this is the, the movie theater. Oh, this is cool. Guys, look at this. This is such a cool place. Here's all the uh, systems and everything. Very cool. I don't know why there's so many boxes. I don't know what all this stuff is for necessarily. Pretty awesome. I wonder if there's a button that makes the screen go down. Right? Also, let me see the, uh, where is it? 
Oh, there it is. So it's a little cheaper one. It's uh, it's only got one camera, it looks like, or one projecting uh, thing. There's also like a little guitar speaker here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Here's the speakers for the actual movie theater. Let's uh, see what these buttons do. So this uh, looks like it dims it, brightens it up. Look at that. Cool. A real movie theater. And I think one of the last rooms we'll check out is this room. It looks like maybe the utility room. Got another bathroom in here. Of course, the water's been shut off. Pretty good shape, eh? Until I saw that. It's in the very early stages of abandonment here. Oh, yeah, yeah, you see all that now? Now it's starting to come out, usually in the utility room. Actually, here's a secret door. I don't know where this leads. Looks like to the sump pump. So this isn't flooded yet. If the power was off, this would start to flood pretty quickly. Just looking through all the nooks and crannies, what else is here? You got some old toys. Kind of cool. Dog cage too. What do I say about early signs of abandonment? There's some mold developing here and it's probably throughout all the walls now and that's just the only part that's actually come through. Was you? Yeah. Jeez. I think the people that used to live here were Middle Eastern. I saw a Quran here. Well, there wasn't too much left, it was very interesting to me to see such a home abandoned. This was definitely a couple million dollars, and it's crazy to believe that in Canada, all the time, homes like this get demolished. Most of the homes here just have the back door wide open, which is how most people explore these. This might have been the freshest abandoned mansion I'd ever explored, as the heating and power was on. With time, this mansion will be demolished, and this will be the last footage of it ever existing. Thanks for watching, guys.